Hey everyone, Couch Investor back to another video for today. So we've got some news that came out on Monday with regards to Mobila, with regards to Intel. So let's talk about that. So basically Mobila announces secondary offering of shares of Class A common stock. Today announced the commencement of an underwritten secondary public offering of 35 million shares of Mobilize Class A common stock by Intel Overseas Funding Corporation, a wholly owned subsidiary of Intel Corporation, of course, if you don't know, Intel owns Mobili. Of course, it's now spinned off in an IPO. It has actually performed quite well since it went public. We're going to have a look at the chart in just a bit. The selling stockholder intends to grant the underwriters a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 5.25 million shares of Mobili Class A stock. Now, Mobili is not selling any shares of Class A common stock in the offering and will not receive any proceeds for the sale of the shares being offered by the selling stockholder. This is basically Intel raising money. How much? Could be up to $1.65 billion. Of course, Intel will still own the majority of Mobileye, close to 90%, even after all of this. They still have a lot of faith in that business. It's a business that has been performing quite well for them. Remember, they bought this business for around $15 billion or so in 2017. Currently, Mobileye has a market cap of over $30 billion, so they are selling some shares at a much higher valuation, which again makes more sense. Now, for looking at Mobileye's chart, since it went public, the stock is up close to 60%, and that's taking into consideration when the market will open, because now pre-market, the stock is down another 2 to 3% or so. So we're sitting right at the 50-day moving average, so keep an eye out on that. But since it went public, despite the well, weird macro environment, weird market situation. They went public at a strange time, but the stock performed quite well, especially when you compare it to Intel, which has not really been performing quite well. We're also now sitting on the 15 day, 20 day moving average there. Got rejected this on the weekly chart, by the way, got rejected at the 200 day moving average. Remember, we did talk in the last video about Intel, why the stock actually went up, which is this green candle here. Two of the main reasons, one of the reasons is, well, they will probably at least beat the high end of their guidance, maybe even beat it. And then the second reason was that, well, Jensen Huan, CEO of NVIDIA, again, talked about a potential partnership with Intel in the future. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, would really appreciate that. And if you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now, or go to full.com forward slash couch investor. Now, mobilized business is also projected to grow quite nicely. For example, 2023, expecting a 13.7% growth year over year, but in 2024, 30% growth, 2025, 40% growth, and then 2026, 44% growth. And I'll stop there because then the number of analysts that are projecting this type of growth comes down quite drastically. So, of course, the market expects this company to perform quite well in the next few years. And so, of course, it makes sense for Intel to keep majority stake in that business. Now, why are they raising more money? Well, we've heard Intel talk about this before. They have different strategies to raise more money, to be a bit more efficient, to invest a lot in the future of this business. Because if you look at last quarter net income, lost $2.8 billion, Earnings, a loss here of 66 cents. Next quarter is also expected to be a loss. And then again, if you look at Mobileye, this is the only business that is actually being up year over year. It was up 16%. Intel currently debt-wise close to $50 billion. And if you look at adjusted free cash flow, well, was negative $8.7 billion. So of course, it's starting to hurt the business at the top and the bottom line, especially with the decelerating revenues losses when it comes to net income earnings per share as well gross margin taking a hit so a move like this to me makes sense because if you look at the next quarter guidance again they are probably going to at least meet or beat the high end of their guidance but look at gross margin it's down quite a lot from the usual 50 plus percent that we were used to then earnings loss per share gap basis 62 cents loss non-gap, a four cent loss there. We used to see these numbers being extremely positive. Also, the dividend has been cut. So again, it's different ways for Intel to navigate the current situation because, well, they are investing a lot, a lot, a lot of money right now and betting on these investments to work. 
because they're not in this situation willingly. Management, previous management have mismanaged the business for a long, long time. And now to turn this ship around, it's going to take a while, a lot of investments. But in my opinion, Intel being Intel, still revenue wise, the biggest out there, although now Nvidia is closing in. All in all, I think this is a logical move for Intel, especially seeing how good Mobileye has performed since it went public. And to be honest, the cash is very, very welcome right now, especially if they need it even more to invest faster and reach their goals on time. Because I don't think they'll reach their goals before the deadline. I think they'll be there 2025, 2026, they'll reach their goals. But of course, in 2023, I would like to see some improvements, especially when you look at the client segment, things need to improve. When you look at data center, to be honest, Nvidia is probably taking the majority of market share there, AMD probably a second, and then Intel. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to see some improvements there. I have some hopes for the GPU cards because I think the GPU market is in need of another player in that market. It's not great to have AMD and especially Nvidia dominate this market with the high prices. You need more optionality, you need more options in that market. And I think Intel offering what we have seen and heard to be pretty good cards at good prices is very, very welcomed. Again, this move for me is a good one. We need it to happen. Now let's wait and see what happens in Q2, Q3, Q4, and how well we're gonna exit 2023 going into 2024. That will be it for this video. Of course, do share your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.